Semiconductor manufacturing should, I think, be classified as part of the industrial sector of the economy. And these companies are very sensitive to spending on equipment because if they can get by with less equipment purchases, it means higher earnings for their shareholders. So that's the effect on ASML right now as they wait for a resumption of strong semiconductor end market demand. They're managing their spending so that their earnings stay healthy and keep their shareholders pleased. So what does that mean for ASML's 2025 outlook? The early peak indicates that revenue will be at the bottom end of long-term guidance they provided in November of 2022. Part of this may be due to Intel's issues and delay in installing the more manufacturing capacity. Intel desperately needs cash right now but it's also a normalizing of sales to fabs in China. Yeah, that's right. And ASML has been illustrating this in these charts. You can see just for the last two quarters, almost 50% of revenue derived from the fabs in China. Uh, we've been talking about this over on our Discord channel, access to that via Semiconductor Insider. China has been aggressively building out its more mature manufacturing process for things like supporting their electric vehicle industry. That spending is beginning to moderate, though. And as you saw in the quote from ASML's CFO, China's revenue will probably be moderating back to 20% of total sales in 2025. That will obviously be offset by fab spending everywhere else around the world, but still it is a headwind that really, again, doesn't come as a surprise if you've been following the story closely over the last year or two. So what does all this mean for 2025? It probably means we're still going to be having a really good year. It's simply that the market was getting a little optimistic for ASML's prospects before taking into account the whole story. 